I want to say welcome to everybody. Thank you for joining us today for Miley Photos Coffee Break. Today I'm joined by Paulina. She is one of our senior testing en engineers, and she's also an adventurer, photographer, drone photographer, and she's going to share with us a little bit about working with iCloud Photo Library, Apple Photos, and Milio Photos. Uh, we're also joined today by JC. He is our customer success lead, and so he'll be helping out in the chat and answering any questions as we go through. But before I hand over the floor to Paulina, I have a quick poll that I would love to get a little bit more information about you here that are um, taking part in this with us today. So let me go ahead and launch that, and I'll give you a couple of moments to answer it. And this will just give us a little bit more information about how you're using Milio Photos, how long you've been with us, and how you use it, or if you use it with Apple Photos. So I would really like to know, you know, what your goals are with today's session. And I think that'll probably be a little bit of good information for Paulina as well. And then if you have any additional questions or other input, feel free to put that into the chat. Um, and later on, we'll have some time at the end where we can have everybody open up your, your mics. You can ask questions. And it's not just limited to Apple Photos, Milio Photos topics. We can answer all sorts of things for you. So looks like a lot of people are paying for additional iCloud photo storage. I'm one of them too, so I get that. All right, mostly using a mix of Apple devices. Awesome. And we've got a good range of people who have been with us. Over more than half of the people here have been using Milio Photos for over a year. And we even have a, um, a couple that have only been with us for less than 30 days. So I'm really glad to have a mix of people here today and um, mix of experience levels. So if you see, whether you're in the community or here in the chat, somebody asks a question and you're one of those people who's been with us for a while, you know the answer, please be generous with your information, with your knowledge and share that with some of our other community members. So with that, I wanna turn the floor over to Paulina. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say about working with Apple Photos and Malio. Thank you for uh, having me again. Um, I hope I can give you some helpful information for people who have been with us for over a year. Um, I hope I have something for you guys. <laughs> Um, so let me share my screen. I have a little presentation, so I don't forget what I'm talking about, um, which is always a problem. <laughs> so yeah, you should be able to see my screen, but I'm going to be stopping the presentation to try to show you um, certain things in Miley, um, how I do things. So um, I'm here to uh, share with you um, to share with you an efficient way of how to use Miley photos with uh, Apple libraries and um, I, um, Rob, could we have you muted? Um, I got it. I'm always coming. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so you. right here, let me switch to the next slide. Uh, so first I wanna talk about um, importing your photos from your MacBook, um, iPhone and uh, iPad devices. Then I will talk about ways to view, um, different ways to view your camera roll and Apple Photos media in your Milio library. Um, then I'll explain how to set up your Milio library um, in order to have your Apple Photos um, pr uh, protected. And last but not least, how to free up space on your iOS device. So import. Um, and that's our first topic. So importing um, Apple Photos and uh, camera roll photos into Milio is very easy. So whenever you install Milio Photos on your mobile device during the onboarding wizard, uh, you can choose to import camera roll photos um, and then you will be prompted to grant Milio permission to access your photos. If you don't do that during onboarding, um, you can always do that later. And, um, and that can be accessed in settings menu on your mobile device in add media. And then you choose to import your Apple photo, uh, your camera roll photos. Um, Apple photos on Mac OS is even easier to import. Um, you just go into um, import dialog by pressing the plus button in Milio. And then the last option will, will give you access to importing Apple photos. Um, so when you, um, regardless of whether you use an iCloud photos to sync up your um, photos across all of your Apple devices or not, Milio, Milio will not import any duplicates. 
because Milio um, as, uh, uses an algorithm that assigns a unique identifier to all of your Apple um, iCloud photos and only imports them once. And um, you could also have actual real duplicates in your camera roll and Apple, um, and Apple photos. And we do our best to deduplicate those on import as well, using very limited information that Apple provides us with, which are file name, GPS coordinates, and resolution. So it's pretty hard. If those sometimes um, are similar, we, can, we cannot tell that those files are duplicates or not. Um, so if you do have iCloud photos, um, iCloud photos enabled, then in order to have your, um, your media imported into Milio, I recommend, and we recommend, adjusting the setting on your iCloud photos to store the originals locally on the device that you will be importing into Milio from. So let me stop sharing here for a second and switch to, to one of these dialogues. So you can adjust this setting easily. Um, on your MacBook device, but go into system preferences, type in iCloud. So here, how you know whether you have a, um, iCloud enabled for photos or not. And so in order to have the original stored locally, you wanna make sure that this checkbox is not checked. So the way this works, it actually will, um, based on the available space on your MacBook drive, it will, um, if you're running out of space, it will delete the originals of your media and replace them with the, uh, with the minimized versions, um, so-called previews that Apple creates. And unfortunately, Miley will not be able to import those. So I recommend adjusting this setting on your either on your MacBook or on your tablet that has enough storage. Um, but if you choose to do that on your phone, you can do that on your phone as well in the settings menu right here, then you just type iCloud and uh, Photos application, and you wanna make sure that you download and keep originals if you if you choose to do that. But I choose to optimize storage on my phone because it only has 32 gigabytes of storage. Um, so this is how to make sure that we import the highest quality media um, from your Apple libraries into Mylio. So let me get back to my presentation right here. So, oh, I finished this one early. So the next topic is viewing. <laughs> Got confused here a little bit. So uh, whenever you import um, media from your camera roll or Apple Photos, it's always placed under Apple Photos folder in the folders view at the root level. And there are two ways to view the contents of that folder. And um, this is a setting that actually is um, it is. Mm -hmm. applies to any yeah. folder in Mylio. Um, so you can view them as containers. This way you will see all the folders underneath Apple Photos folder. Um, for example, if you import from multiple devices, your iPad, iPhone, and MacBook, you will see three folders. Or you can choose to, uh, to view it as media. This way it will show all the media uh, inside Apple Photos, combined from all the uh, devices in the flat view. So I would like to demonstrate that right here on my on my desktop. So here I have a Apple Photos folder, and this indicator shows that I have two folders inside. And when I open it, I actually see all the media inside in the flat view, because I have a setting here that is set to show it. Um, to show it as media. And this is this way I can set it to show it as container. And this uh, the setting is remembered per folder on per folder basis. So if you uh, if you change this to show it as containers, you will see uh, folders from each device that you imported. And in my case, uh, the device Mac MacBook uh, folder is empty and it is uh, because I, I am using iCloud photo library. So all of the media is synced between my Apple devices and I import it on the iPhone first. So it turns out that all the media is inside um, the iPhone folder. So um, the way the setting works uh, for Apple photos, it is by default set to show all the media inside the folder. This way. So whenever I open it, it will show it in the flat view. 
However, for uh, other folders, it will show in a different way. But you can set this with the setting, uh, like I said, on a fo on a folder basis. Um, so other ways to view your imported media would be in the calendar or all photos view. Where is all my media? Or all photos view uh, alongside uh, all of your media in the library. Um, so another way um, to view uh, to view media in Mylio is to actually uh, view it in the file system from within Mylio. And uh, most of our users already know that if the device stores uh, originals locally, you can right click on the media. Let's open this folder right here. So right click on the media and choose to show it in Finder uh, or Finder on Mac OS or Explorer on the Windows platform. Uh, so when you click on it, it will open a Finder window with a folder open and the media that you right clicked on selected. However, Apple Photos is slightly different in this regard. So because Apple, uh, because when you import Apple Photos, Mylio does not create a copy of your photos um, on your MacBook device. It just watches the original location uh, where Apple, Apple Photos application stores them internally. And same applies to the camera roll folder. And unless you replicate them to an external drive, like a NAS uh, or a USB device, you cannot view them in Finder. So if I right click on this media, it will tell me that I am not able to view it because the internal location is not, unfortunately cannot be open from Finder. Um, so in this, if you do replicate them to a USB or a NAS, your photos will be protected. And I'm gonna be talking about that uh, in that next section. Protection, protection and sync. So it is uh, very important to understand um, the way Mylio Photos works um, and the way it interacts with Apple Photos and Camera Roll, regardless of whether you have iCloud uh, enabled or not. So when you import media into Mylio, we, uh, we create uh, a record in Mylio database for each media. And we do not delete those records, even if they're deleted in iCloud. So some customers have asked this. Um, so in a way, the relationship between iCloud and Mylio is like a one-way street. Your photos come uh, from Apple libraries into Mylio and are only deleted if you delete them in Mylio itself. So here, I'd like to demonstrate this little example. So here I have my Mylio. I'm gonna pick this photo. The right now, I'll open the sync panel to show you I have an original of this photo. My MacBook device um, is not a old device. So now I'm gonna go and delete this photo here. And now I'm gonna go back to my Mylio and see what's happened. So I still have the media, but I no longer have the original of the media. And um, this is why it is so important to understand that even if your MacBook device is a vault, your media is actually not protected. Because like I already said, we do not create a copy, um, an additional copy of your media on the device when we import it. So for that, you, you need to, um, to add an external device that will, it will serve as a vault and store your originals. And we recommend, um, we recommend adding external drives like USBs, NAS devices, uh, other desktop devices, or, or an iCloud um, or a cloud drive like Microsoft, um, Microsoft, Amazon, or Google Drive. I personally recommend using, using desktop devices, NAS, or USB because unfortunately iCloud, uh, the cloud drives do not have a feature uh, called Save Delete that I'm going to be talking about in a moment. Um, so when you do replicate to an external drive and you have a save delete enabled, which is a feature that's enabled by default on the external drive, when you create it as a vault. Um, so right here, I'm gonna show you in devices. So in devices panel uh, for USB, I have a save delete enabled. Uh, so save delete um, prevents accidental loss of your important media and files. 
Um, and the way it works in our prior example with um, Apple Photos, when I deleted the media externally um, in the iCloud, it, it actually, I did not lose the media. And if I did not have, um, did not have a USB with all of my originals, I would have lost the original of this media and I only had a smaller version of it, a preview or a thumbnail. So here, um, however, so there's a, one more detail that I wanted to mention. So if your MacBook device is also a Volt, in this case, I would like to demonstrate this. So if I change my MacBook device to be a Volt in the settings, and it will also have uh, save, delete enabled by default, because that's what happens when you make device a Volt, but you can always disable it, but I strongly don't recommend that. Um, and if I delete any media inside uh, in my iCloud, Apple Photos, or Camera Roll, it will be restored in Milio's location from an available uh, from another available Volt device. So here we can see this media. Right now, we actually have an original of this media, and because it was restored in the Milio's location and not. Um, in Apple Photos location, I can right click on it and view it in Finder. And it will show that media in my Finder window in um, in iPhone folder inside my new library. So, um, but whenever you have your photos protected to an external drive like NAS or USB, you can always right click on any Apple Photos library uh, photo and view it on the external drive and it will open the external drive finder window. I like to know where my files are located and that's why I also do not like using the iCloud um, of Apple or any cloud drives for that matter. So our next topic is um, freeing up space on the device, which is the last topic. Um, and here I have my mobile device that I wanted to demonstrate two things with. So the reason for this feature is you could be, um, your goal could be extending life of your iPhone with um, that's running out of space, or you just do not want to pay for gigabytes of iCloud storage. And Miley is actually here to help you with that. Um, so I'm going to in, um, share my phone right now. So uh, free up space feature is available on um, iPhones and uh, iPhones, iPads, and Android devices as well. Under settings, free up space on this device. Only media that is safely protected to another, uh, to another physical device like a NAS, USB, or another desktop can actually be deleted off your mobile device using this feature. In the customized menu of options, you can, you can customize which media will be deleted. How old is that media? It can be, you can scan your entire, your entire library or choose only media that's uh, older than 90 days to be scanned for deletion. And you can also choose at which intervals to repeat this, this procedure or to never repeat it. So if you do not know um, if your library is protected or not and what which pictures are protected, you can always run this feature and Miley will scan your entire library on your phone and determine which pictures are protected. Yeah, if we can have it this deleted, this way you would re, uh, delete media of your mobile device and continue taking pictures on it. And uh, your storage will, yeah, will have, your device will have more storage to continue using it. And this way you do not need iCloud. So now, okay, let me go back and I'd like to answer the questions. Um, okay, let's, uh, Angela, can you repeat the question? The first one was about if you delete the media in Miley or whether it affects the original. Correct. Uh, so to answer that question, no. If you delete media in Milio, uh, it's not going to affect your iCloud photo. Perfect. So iCloud photo is not inquiring information from Milio, and Milio does not delete photos from iCloud unless you're using free app, um, free app space on my device um, feature. That's the only feature that deletes photos in the iCloud itself. 
So that, and that free up space option is really the, the safest way to delete things from your phone because it makes sure it does that check to make sure it's protected in my Leo, right? That is the best way to do that. Right. If yeah. you do want to keep your photos, uh, pictures, and videos, and the safest ways to use free app space on uh, on your device, yes. Perfect. So let's see here. Um, the other question was from Larry, and he wanted to see what the steps were to import an Apple Photos library from like from the beginning. Okay, perfect. Let me um, run my Miley real quick and. Uh, no, of course, everything is now taking a while. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to pull up the free of space article in the manual and put that into the chat. So that mm -hmm. way, anybody who wants to take a look at those instructions um, step by step, you can certainly do that. It works really well. I use it all the time. <laughs> it does. My phone is never does. full. <laughs> now, one thing to be aware of, if you do like to reference your Apple Photos photos on your your iPhone, your iPad from time to time, or you use any of those like home screen widgets that pop up memories. If you clear out your library of those old photos, they are protected in MyLeo, you still have them, but they won't be in Apple Photos anymore for those widgets to work. And so I haven't actually followed through and done that step because I like seeing those widgets. It's just a fun little thing that when I open up one of my devices, I have memories sitting there. Okay. Well, here's a good question, JC, you might, or Paulina, if you have originals mm -hmm. synced from Apple Photos in MyLeo and then move them to a different folder, is it protected even on the same device when deleted from Apple Photos? Uh, no. If you if you import them, and um, they're not going to be protected on the same device because, like I said, there's a record in the database of the original path that unless you replicate it to another device, it will not be protected on the device that you imported your Apple Photos from. But of course, there's there's a but. So if you do delete it in i in iCloud, like I in my scenario, and then your your device is a vault, it can be restored back via save delete feature, and then that photo will be stored locally, and that way it is protected. So anything that's stored in your file system that is not in the Apple Photos internal location is considered protected. But because we are we are not responsible for Apple Photos internal uh, internal paths, we we cannot say that it is protected because that's not Milio managed location, um, and we cannot we cannot know what they do with it. So all right, I am ready to share my screen for import. I'm sorry, Paulina. Um, before you do that, I I want to emphasize the last thing you said because the Apple library is a separate storage container that Malio cannot control. It's not like a regular folder in your file system. So if that is the only place that the original photo lives, Malio cannot really control that space. So adding a vault to your system is going to create a copy of that photo in a space that Malio does control. That is really the bottom line in all of this. One way in which you can, uh, see this very clearly is if, if there's a photo that only exists in your Apple photo library and it's linked to Malio and you ask Malio to show you that photo in the finder, it can't because it doesn't live in the finder. It lives inside this proprietary Apple photos library only. But the moment you add it to a vault, then Malio will, will be able to show it to you in the finder or in an external device. So I just wanted to hammer that point because it's, it's super important. Right. Okay. Um, so you ready for me to share? Yep. Yes. Okay. Things seem to be misbehaving today for me. So I'm sharing my first screen right here. I already have Apple Photos um, imported. And for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to delete them altogether. And I'm not afraid to delete this because I know that deleting in my Leo will not delete in your i iCloud uh, applications. So camera roll or Apple Photos application. So on the MacBook, it's um, in order to import Apple Photos, you press the plus button to add media. Then you select this option, add media from photos for Mac OS, iPhoto or Aperture. Uh, and by default, it already chooses, oh, it, right, because I uninstalled everything. When you select that option, it's gonna ask you to grant a lot of permissions to documents, desktop, 
and and camera um, downloads as well. Okay, and could be the next one would be to the camera roll itself. So by default, it's already showing you the Apple library that you have um, connected to your photos application, but you can also select different libraries uh, in Finder. This could be your old libraries from Aperture or iPhoto or iPhotos. There's older pro products from Apple. Um, so you select this Apple Photos and you copy. Now, even though it actually doesn't create an additional copy. Uh, so here, like I said, it's going to import media and we wait. So that was the previous import it showed me. And now I'm going to have photos application populating with media as well. So like I said, it's very easy. And if you're, if you're not sure if you have it imported or not, you can always do that again. And it will tell you that you already have it imported. You, you cannot import it twice and there will be no duplicates. Um, on the mobile device, uh, do we need to show the mobile as well? Can we double check that? Um, we can certainly do that. I, I would at least mention it that you can do it from yes. that, uh, or you okay. can have them all connect. You can have them all connected at the same time. Right, you can have multiple devices connected, and uh, and and it will just replicate. If you have iCloud enabled on your devices, then you really need to import from one device only, right? because your mobile device will be already replicated in media via your iCloud. But uh, I do recommend adding it, uh, importing it on all of your devices and using Milio as a manager to of your Apple Photos, camera roll and photos application on your MacBook. Okay. I can certainly show mobile device as well right here. Yeah, let's do that. Right here, I already have Apple Photos enabled, so I'm not gonna be able to run through onboarding right now for you guys, uh, but here in settings, I'll show you the add uh, media menu. Uh, things are slightly delayed right now because I am having too many things running on my computer. Must be too many people are here and it's feeling it. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with it. So I'm pressing settings. Okay, now we have settings and this is add med media menu. And this way you would attach your Apple photos, your camera roll. And because I deleted everything, so it's actually importing them again. And now it's telling me it's successfully uh, attached Apple photos. And now I have two folders inside Apple Photos. So if I choose to see them as containers, that's one of the options of the viewing that I was talking about. I will see two folders right here, one for the iPhone and one for the MacBook. And because I, uh, like I said, I have iCloud enabled. So all of the, my media is synchronized between devices and I import it first on the MacBook. I have MacBook folder full and iPhone folder empty. And that's why we, we use this setting to show uh, media in a flat view. So to not confuse you with some empty folders. Um, do we have any more questions? I think that was all. Um, are there any other questions? Please feel free to unmute your mics. Let's see, we have one just popped up from John. How do you connect your iPhone to an external drive on a desktop to transfer photos? So you don't actually have to do that. You can install Milio Photos on your phone, add your camera roll, and that will sync by way of your account directly to your computer and any associated vaults that you have. Does that answer your question, John? Well, some of it's Greek to me. Add your camera roll. I don't know. What, maybe I ought to know what that is, but I'm pretty naive in all this stuff. So I'm in, I'm in my iPhone right now, and I've got my um, on my desktop, which is where I'm watching this Zoom. I do have my um, Milio Photos library open. They also have a Milio Photos home, and I don't know the difference between that and the Milio Photos library. But nevertheless, it's there on my screen, which I assume means it's open and available to my phone. But I don't know how to. I've got my Sync Your Devices thing under Notifications on my phone, and when I hit it. It has a vault name, my extreme SSD, and my last in sync two months ago. But there's nothing that doesn't tell me to do anything. <laughs> so it might be that when you initially installed Milio Photos, 
let me back up a little bit. So when you initially install Mylio Photos on an iPhone, iPad, Android device, you're given the option to connect that to the pictures that are stored on your phone at that time. If you skip that step, what you can do is go up into the settings that Paulina was just showing and add media. Mm -hmm. And that's where okay. you can add the pictures that are on your camera or on the phone. Go into my Angela, iPhone. if I may, uh, yep. let me clarify some of the terminology we use and, and that might be helpful. So Apple Photos library is the library that Apple uses to hold any photos that you take or import on any Apple device. So you can have an Apple Photos library on your phone and on your phone, Apple Photos, which is called Apple Photos on your phone, it has that little icon and, and it says photos. Mm -hmm. That is your Apple Photos library. That is also your what we refer to as the camera roll because any photos that you take with your phone camera go into that library initially. What Malio does is it looks at that camera roll at that storage space, that library, and it imports those photos into Malio if you have asked Malio to do so or given it permission. And the two ways in which you do that is during initial setup, like Angela mentioned, or later on by going into settings, add media, connect Apple Photos. On your computer, you also have an Apple Photos library if you're using the Apple Photos application on your computer. Um, now, you don't walk around taking photos with your computer, so it's not a camera roll. It's, it's an application that you would import photos into, including photos that might have come from your phone because Apple does this thing in the background with iCloud where it synchronizes your devices but it doesn't give you any control. It kind of just does what it wants and you don't know what, what photo is where, whether it's on your computer, whether it's on the cloud, whether it's on the phone, et cetera. So Malia does things a little bit differently. Hope that helps. Okay, yeah, thanks. I need to do some work on it, I can see. <laughs> Clear as mud. <laughs> <laughs> and I did just put into the chat um, instructions for adding pictures from your iPhone. So um, that walks you through step-by-step -step with screenshots and whatnot. All right, um, let's see here. Rob asks, what's the fastest way to sync Mylio on different devices, such as USB-C connection, Thunderbolt, home Wi-Fi, or device Wi-Fi? I can answer that. Um, it depends on the device that you have. So for an external device, it would, of course, Thunderbolt or USB-C. Uh, USB, um, uh, USB would be a fastest connection. Um, same goes for the NAS device, but if you only if you have a mobile device like an iPad or an i an iPhone or Android device, unfortunately those are only um, uh, can be replicated uh, using a Wi-Fi connection or a cellular connection. And of course, Wi-Fi or your home Wi-Fi would be the fastest one. It depends on your bandwidth of the speed of your internet that's available. Um, does that answer your question? I think yes. so. Robin, you had your hand up. Is that the question you wanted to ask or did you have another question? Uh, actually, it's a comment. Okay. And maybe a question. So um, I've been using devices for probably 20 years. My oldest digital camera is probably 27 years. That doesn't make me a better photographer, by the way. Um, but um, I've been using, I've converted a lot of my libraries, uh, Aperture, I, iPhoto, because I had separate ones. I have a Lightroom Classic, one library that's linked to Lightroom Cloud. And I found that putting, based on uh, JC and your advice, I put them in Mylio, the um, one device, the Classic, and all of the other originals go to to the classic, which is in Mylio, which is great, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it plays well, much better than Apple Photos, right? And so I have one terabyte, maybe 900 gig in, in Apple Photos. So the challenge for me has been, okay, how can I decrease that? And it is quite difficult. So what I, what I, what I did is I had an iPad, this is a long question since we have time. Um, I have an iPad that has one terabyte of storage and I originally had all originals on it. And then I disconnected it from 
the cloud, but keep all originals. I think you can do that in the settings on, on, okay. I, on iPad. The problem is there's nothing I can do putting that anywhere else from an iPad, right? You mean in, in terms of connecting it to Malio? Like if yes, you have if, it's just, if it's just on an iPad, but it's not on the cloud. Yeah, so you, can, you just add that device to Malio. And uh, so just install the Malio app on the device. And during the installation process, it's going to ask if you want to bring the photos from that device in, and you're going to say yes. And those photos are going to appear in the Apple Photos folder within the Malio folder structure in its own container. It'll say iPad, whatever the name of the iPad is. Now, you might generate some duplicates if you already have another Apple Photos library and you're bringing them this way. It depends when you, do, when you did it, probably not. Right, Paulina? Um, I would think very likely not, but there is a chance yeah. that they could be duplicated. But yeah, I was thinking are... depends when they came in, right? If they came in before version 22. Um, but even if you do generate duplicates, the deduplicating tool will find them very easily. You can just point to that folder and say, anything in this folder that's also somewhere else in my library, go ahead and delete. So, so, what, yeah. so, so what I could do, if I understand you, is I could link it to this iPad, say it has 900 uh, gigabyte of photos and videos and mm -hmm. maybe PDFs, I don't know. And then I could have a vault that in a vault on another device and it will be protected if i have safe delete or whatever that is is that correct that is correct yeah, that is correct. yeah. so here so, i so show you my screen so uh one of my devices is an ipad that happens to have some photos in it that were not in my iPhone because I, I don't use iCloud photo library. So, so the photos from my iPad and the photos from my iPhone are different. Um, and if I look at my folder structure in Malio and I go into my Apple Photos folder, you'll notice there's two folders inside my Apple Photos folder. One is my iPad library, one is my iPhone library. Um, and those are photos that came from each one of those devices because they're both connected. And if I took my iPad right now and I took a photo, it would go into that folder. Same with my phone. If I took a photo with my phone, it would go into the iPhone library folder. So, right. So I get all of that is backed up to all of my vaults. I have three right now. Okay, and the key thing, like you said, and yeah, I have to continue to remember is they've got to be different devices than the original. But that iPad Air is mm -hmm. uh, potentially that iPad Air is connected to the cloud via Apple Photos, but the pictures that were actually taken on that Air are a separate container. They're in your so, camera roll. Yeah, they're in that yes. Apple Photos storage space in that device. And so if my wife has her own Apple Photo container, it can be made a container if I link it to my Milio. And then if yes. I have three vaults, three SSDs right now, then her photos would be protected. Right. Yeah. And so, and then the other thing is, the, the whole, me, the whole, go ahead. Let me show you something really quick. Uh, when you go into Apple Photos, you might see a flat structure. You might just see a bunch of files. Uh, it'll look like that. If you want to actually see the containers, there's an option up here on the more menu, the three little dots that says showing as containers. So that's where, where you get the separate folders for each device within Malio. The folders, the folders still exist in your vaults in the file system, but Malio gives you the option of displaying all the contents as a flat structure or by container. So just wanted you to know that so that you don't call me a liar when you try it and it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but I see that. But if, if, if I do what I just said, say put 900 gigabyte from an iPad or MacBook, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then I back it up and then I move those pictures into different folders 
and albums mm -hmm. and have them in albums, then they're protected as long as I have vaults separate. As long as you have vaults, they'll be protected whether you move them to a different folder or, or not. But um, you can make albums out of it anyhow. Even if they weren't protected, you can make albums out of the Apple thing because they're just oh, yeah. copies. Yeah, so exactly. Albums are not where your files live. Al albums are a virtual home where a folder is the actual home for, for the file. So any one file can only live in one folder, but the same file, same photo can live in many, many albums because they're virtual representations. Okay, well, thanks, thanks for that. I, offline, maybe between you and Angela, I could figure out deduping because I have a lot of dupes and I, I see it and I go crazy. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a recording of a webinar we did. Uh, Paulina was part of it actually because she tested all of the dedupe uh, tool. And you can find it on the community. Um, we'll go find a link to it and put it in the chats. Uh, I, I suggest you start there because uh, I like to yeah. think you did a really good job. But we well, did a good job. I watched, I watched it. But okay. uh, I, I have so many dupes from a long history of poor hygiene. Yeah. Yeah. It and happens. I also just put the link to the um, DDUP chapter for the manual into the chat. Um, the next question was from Mark. It says the prompt that comes up when I on iOS when you install Mileo is to copy photos that are shot to copy them to Mileo. I think that I don't think that will bring in the Apple Photos library. Actually, yes, it does. I'll have to double check the language on the um, um, the onboarding screens, but I know that it does. If you make that choice when you're installing the software the first time, it does connect to your Apple Photos library. Yeah. All right, uh, Peter has a question here about face tags. This is my other issue is that when I'm in actions, tag faces, it can take a minute and a half to tag a single face. I'm on a Mac studio, it only happens when I'm in actions. If I'm in all photos and tag a face, there's no delay. I have a ticket in with support, but I'm wondering if you have any idea why this might be happening. JC, I think that's a you question, unless Paulina has an answer. Uh, I'm I, was again. Yeah. <laughs> I was typing a, a, an answer and I didn't hear the question. Oh. Uh, from Peter. Yes. Um, yeah, I have no idea why that's doing that to you. We cannot replicate that issue internally at all. Um, really, is the same code analyzing the photo, whether you're using, um, whether you're accessing it through the action menu or whether you're going directly from all photos. So, Perhaps what we can do is, uh, if the issue continues, we can set up a remote session with the, you and one of our support team members, and we can look at what you're doing and try to replicate it, and then we'll give it to Paulina, and, and she'll figure out how to fix it. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand, Peter. What does it? What do you mean by action stack faces? I'm not quite sure. Well, um, when you when you go. Um to the dashboard and select actions and then select oh, tag okay. faces. Okay. I, you know, I, it gives understand. you the list of uh, people it thinks it is. And if you click the check mark to confirm it, yeah, it, it takes you into it take, mode. literally it can take a minute and a half mm -hmm. just to accept that selection. I mean, other times it may happen immediately, but no more than three or four times where it goes immediately. But the, And then the next time it'll again take over a minute. Okay. And yeah, we would like to investigate that uh, more. Hopefully, support uh, team member like JC said could could help you in a session, a private session, to, okay. to debug this issue. Yeah. I'll find the ticket, okay. Polina, and, and let you know who's working on it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do we have any other questions? Some great ones today. Really appreciate the interaction. All right. Going once. Going twice. I have a one. Maybe it's obvious, but I ha I realized yeah. I just checked. I have my phone set up so that it automatically transfers phone shots to my Apple Photos on my laptop. Perfect. I don't. You know, I've not connected my laptop to my new desktop. I got one of those. As we after we talked a few months ago, uh, Angela, I got one. Of, I got a uh, Mac Studio and a Studio Display. I went deluxe, so I now need to buy a better camera. But. Um, <laughs> to help me with my processing. But 
but I don't have the basics of how to use any of the above. So, um, but I'm, so my question might be then I need to fit, do I need to duplicate iPhoto, all my photos on my, I want to be able to edit things either on my laptop or on my desktop. Like when I go downstairs and watch TV, I want to bring my laptop and edit photos. But if they're on my desktop, I don't know how to do that. And I figured Malia would be my solution. Um, so I've, I've, all my iPhone photos go, and I also load photos from my camera to my laptop. Okay. And my and that lately I've been doing it to my new desktop. But um, so I'm assuming I just need to figure out how to copy photos from my iPhoto on my laptop, to, which Pauline, Paulina probably just told us, and I quite didn't quite follow. But um, to my desktop to be able to put it in that uh, SSD external drive as a safe place to keep it, plus a place to be able to actually make my little work for me. Anyway, that's where I am right now. I don't know if that's a question or not. But. I, th I think there's probably a couple of questions in there. The first thing I would do is make sure you have Mylio photos installed on both of your computers. Okay. And that will get them syncing up with each other. Um, which computer or on both computers do you have a drive that you have designated as a vault? On my desktop, I have an external vault uh, SSG drive that's got two to four terabyte. I don't remember what I have on it. So that's probably my answer to that. On my Perfect. laptop, I've got an external hard drive, a slow one, but I don't know that it's got anything on it other than it re it stores stuff on my laptop every so often. So maybe it's in there. I don't know. <laughs> so I think that the real simple solution here is to have Mylio photos installed on both of your computers and make sure that that if you're if you're installing photos into that vault drive, and it's going into Mylio photos from your desktop, they'll get synced up to your laptop as well. Okay. And then when you take that laptop to go sit in front of the TV and you want to just play on the laptop, as long as your desktop computer with that vault connected is on and powered on in the other room over your home Wi-Fi, you should be able to access those originals. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I do that, except I don't sit on the couch. I take my iPad and go in the hammock <laughs> in the backyard and I can work on all my photos. And if I need the original for any reason, uh, because my computer is on inside the house or even across town, I can do the same thing. Yeah. I've okay. done it while I'm on vacation from, you know, my travel laptop or from an iPad. As long as I have a computer back home powered on and connected to the internet and connected to my vault, I can get to my images from any of my other devices. So and and I also noticed quality. JC mentioned the difference between library and my, my little photos thing on my desktop, both of which are in my uh, external drive. Um, do I need to copy them from the library to the Mylio photos in order to make everything work? No, no, no. You just add it to Mylio. Mylio does everything for you. When you say add it to Mylio, meaning in, can I can in, I move that library um, folder in my external drive over to Mylio? Or just drag it to Mylio photos? Your Apple Photos library? Well, I've got something on my external drive, probably my most recent, you know, 5,000 photos or something, not the 86,000 that are sitting somewhere else, but... Um, so, I'm sorry. So these are files just sitting on a folder in your external drive. They're not part of an Apple Photos library. Um, they have the term library on them. I don't know what that means, I guess. Let me just back up a minute. I've got something called library, and it's got more photos than I have on my Mylio photos list. So... Is it, is it a regular thing? folder or does it have a different icon? Like, can you open it and see the files in it? Yeah, I've got some pictures I took of when I was, you know, um, some of them I can't, I see the icon, but I can't actually, the raw ones I can't seem to make large. The JPEG ones, when I was shooting both at the same time, I no longer do that. But um, there, so I see the icons of photos on this library on the external drive as well as folders with clusters of photos. I, I am extremely curious as to what this folder is, John. So if you want to hang tight at the end of the call and stay on, on the Zoom call, I will help you. Yeah, actually, I'm, we're going to a uh, Paddleford um, excursion on the Mississippi River, so I can't do that today. That sounds a lot more fun than talking to me. As a, <laughs> I got to leave right on the button at five. Sorry <laughs> about that. All right, no, that's okay. You can send us an email at support at miley.com and we can help you figure okay. it out. All right. Thanks. You bet. All right. Any other questions before we wrap up today? 
All right. Well, thank you everyone for, for joining us. It's been a lot of fun and I've really appreciated all of the great interaction. Paulina, I want to thank you especially for joining us today and sharing your expertise. Uh, it was wonderful and really appreciate you taking the time. JC, of course, always glad to have you here and your expertise as well. So I want to wish you guys a wonderful rest of the week. We'll be back with you next week. So hope to see you then.